and welcome to part two of Boom Beach videos. Um, I made the heavy assault, which um, kind of felt as heavy salt, but I fixed that. Um, so basically, <laughs> heavy salt. Um, I'm here with part two, but the new battle boat has most pretty hardcore um, fans that I've played recently probably know about the battle boat and that it came out with the battleship and everything about it, the battle carrier. But I'm going to do the Arctic Fox pack review as it's probably me duty as a Boom Beach YouTuber and all the other stuff, of course, um, to take a look at the boat. So I've been playing for a while. I'm level four. I didn't play that much. I'm sure some people just got addicted very fast because unlike all the other stupid things, you know, this gives a chance for noobs and pros to play together because you don't run on a loot system. You collect, well, you kind of run on a loot system. I'll explain. So you collect the keys to unlock new things so that you can get all kinds of cool stuff. Then you use your pearls, I want to say, they're like gears, to upgrade things like turrets and soldiers and flares, everything, instead of using resources. Which is what's so cool about this. This way, people who are level 3 can play, I guess. I don't know if there's a limit to how soon you can get the battleship. But, I'm level 14, so I know I'm fairly low. Medium. So it's very easy to get your hands on it. And, you can play with pros who are level 23, even. Oh, I don't have any troops. And, you don't even run on loot for your soldiers. This is a strategy that I'm packing. It's, um course the heavy strategy but instead of filling all the way with heavies the rocket bazookas because they're pretty effective now I typically don't make boom beach videos but I thought it'd be good oh hi Mabel you're a sweet doggy you are okay um so of course the battles are at a race and I'll explain it here see so they're attacking me base and I'm attacking their base so that's pretty fun. So basically, the first person to destroy all three engines or do the most damage in the least amount of time wins the game. So the goal is to attack as soon as possible and get as much shots onto buildings and get as much damage as possible. And mainly to take out these motor engines. I don't know if that's taking down the battle boat or what, but it seems kind of crucial. And the flamethrowers are a serious threat to this really powerful strategy that I'm cracking here because those flamethrowers are going to burn the heavies alive and if they get to the zoo, they burn them alive. That's why it's important. See, so right now, they're just, they're gonna get inflamed almost instantly. But I got a med kit for a little bit of relaxation on those soldiers. The most important thing is getting over here, which is gonna be hard. I'm gonna focus on taking out the flamethrower. Yes! Oh, I did it again. Awkward stage here. Um, it appears that they're not doing too well with these mortars, but this base is kind of weird. Okay, they took it out. One of me says, um, our engines, or motors, and so it's only a matter of time before they get the last one, but I'm about to get them here. And victory is pretty much assured. Now that was a beautiful introduction. Okay, so I've won. Are they still battling? I don't know. Watch. Okay, victory. Huh? Huh? Defeat. Oh, yes. We won here, but here's their assault. So first up, they show up with a fairly similar strategy, except for those blue guys. Um, riflemen. And they're gonna, I guess, try to come in, just tra blow through all these turrets. Hmm, weird. I don't think that's the best strategy. But I recently got these boom guns, and that's just gonna destroy them all, kill them all. I don't even know what to say, they're doomed. And you don't upgrade the turrets without those little gear curl thingies. So, because of that, you're gonna get a lot of damage. Oh, yikes. Ooh. Wow, I'm so glad those boom guns are there. Oh, that's how they got the first one. Oh! 
Wow. Oh, that's not gonna do anything. The boom gun. <laughs> do they not understand that that won't even help from the boom gun? It'll get them out of one shot. <laughs> okay, that's funny. But a nice victory, and it's refreshing because I lost quite a few. Actually, no, it has a consistent inconsistency here. Victory, defeat, victory, defeat, victory, defeat, victory, defeat, defeat, victory. So, that's a weird thing to have a victory and then a defeat. Because of the victory, of course, you get to upgrade these things. Really need to upgrade that. So now with keys, you can get the new things. I've never, ooh. Uh, Flamethrowers would probably be best, but you know, before I do that, I want to get, no I don't, those guys are useless. Four of those would be nice. Ooh, the tank, no. I don't really want more troops. I have the nice strategy. The ice ones would be nice. Oh, the ice, oh. Oh, this part's pretty sweet. Hmm. But I want to see if the... Nope. Uh, ooh. Nope. Okay. So there's quite a bit of stuff here, but... None of it's matched to that. I gotta get that. But that's basically the entire battle boat and its system. So here's how you, like, get the new stuff. So if you want to pack down the new stuff, you just... Press those buttons. And it's pretty cool because it doesn't rely on loot. Because I don't think I commit much loot to this when I'm trying to upgrade to level 15. So, I'm very happy with what they did. And I don't have much to criticize except for I think this was a little bit rushed. Because the graphics look horrible on these things. That's the only thing I have to say about it. But other than that, it's pretty cool. I don't know why the water's so light here, like this is an island. I think that was kind of overlooked, I guess? Or maybe it was like a spotlight for like your gameplay rise? I don't know, but it's, it's alright. They're clearly using the same textures as the island boats. I mean, bases. So, yeah, it was definitely rushed and kind of cheap, but you can tell that there was love put into it in detail and almost easter eggs so it's fun to kind of just look around the decks i don't know there might be some funny little signs here or not i did see something about a turtle around here <laughs> so it's pretty cool what in the world is that for i don't know but it doesn't look like a practical boat to have all these weapons down here and then just have like a gun here and there in there but for the base design it looks really good and I personally think that it's absolutely great <laughs> and the design for everything works well I, I don't quite understand the whole thing about um, using like the build-ups without money but I, I guess it's pretty good so and when you're bored of Moon Beach, that's really nice because it's new. And when you're bored of this base, it's really nice. <laughs> I just paused because I sneezed. But anyways, um, this lady's very suspicious, by the way. I think because she was building the battle, I think that she's actually working for the Black Guard. Which may be a crazy accusation, but seriously, she looks so sketchy. She looks like someone would be there, and it's, it's all just sketchy. It's very sketchy to me, because she... Oh, this thing's so broken, I don't even know. Ever since this update came out, I was like, no, this is horrible. I never liked it, I've never understood it. And I don't really work with me strike force very much. Because look at this. Not here, but uh, the X Man just defeat after the I mean, just victory after victory. There's nothing I could even do but show off. Um, there is one more thing I want to show actually. That's X Man, just show off. 
X Man attacks the base, but that's not important. Um, X Men's like level 23 or something. I don't even know. Okay, so they had a smart strategy here on me on base. I don't know why everything's red. I just designed this base for the coolness of it, and I wanted to show it off, and I wanted to see how people would assault it. So this is a weird strategy, as they're using those weird guys, but the mines didn't do too much of them, too much to them, especially considering that they had this guy. So, but I don't use him. He's not so great. I don't suggest using him in the beach. Unlocking him is kind of a pain just to find out that he's totally useless. But <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, his medicine doesn't work on, um, psychoticness or something. I forgot. So this was the weird part of the strategy. They're just deciding that if they destroy the little buildings, they can take down the HQ. So that's kind of what they're doing, because they can't beat me up front. And it quickly becomes a, a problem for them. Because there's still weapons over here. I didn't leave this as both. And it's kind of just funny. So I definitely suggest targeting the HQ directly. And that's the whole strat heavy strategy. You smoke and you get them out there. Or you just straight up send them down there. And then they get in the flame floor and they're trying to shock their way into victory. When I first saw this, I was really worried because I thought the grave might save them, but it did not. And, um, it really, <laughs> it really didn't. I don't think it did anything. Um, they got pretty exposed from this attack, and I feel proud of this base now. I'm not worried that somebody's gonna beat it. So, new challenge. Join whatever the strike force is, I forgot. And, um, try to blow this base up. If you're high level, it won't be a problem. If you're lower level, um, lower level than me, you know, who knows, but if you're Mises level and you're a good player, you're probably gonna destroy it, because there is some fatal flaws that I'll point out in a different video. Um, let me find that again. I'm gonna try to find that again. Too far up. Um, let me find it. Video. Hmm. I sure do talk a lot on this. If, his, if this doesn't come up any second now. <laughs> Here. Click. Click. Click, click, click. Here. Click, click. One moment. Apparently I can't access it, but all that happened was the X-Man um, gamer just <laughs> blew up the entire base. And then sent in a bunch of droids, um, the little robots, um, I can pull them up through here, and, um, pretty much just destroy the whole base, and that's why I'm so afraid of high levels now, <laughs> this little thing, so I really need to upgrade to level 15 so I can stand a better chance with this thingy, and yeah, I guess that's it for this video, if you enjoy, be sure to subscribe. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy, be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you never miss another awesome video of Boom Beach, Star Wars Commander, or even Halo. Thanks for watching and God bless.